everyone, I hope you're doing well. So today, um, I'm going to make this random vlog video. Um, for the past few days I've been thinking maybe to upload something once a week um, and just kind of update you with what's going on with my life and update you with Lush stuff and Lush news and things like that. So I thought I'd go for it today and just see how I get on. I'm just going to randomly speak and I'm sorry if everything that comes out my mouth doesn't make sense. <laughs> but I want to give it a go and see if people like it or not. So yeah, let's get started. So first off, I'm going to talk a little bit about myself just so you can get to know me a little bit more. So if you didn't know, my name is Jasmine. I come from Gloucestershire in the UK and I work for a pet company <laughs> so I work with animals which I absolutely love um, a lot of draining shifts as I do normally do 6am or 7am starts because uh, I go in to clean the animals but I absolutely love it, I love my job and I have a doggy called Buzz Buzz, come here! See if I'll come up and say hello to you <laughs> This is Buzzy Boo Boo. Hi Buzzy. He just farted. <laughs> That's me in. So this is Buzzy Boo Boo. He is two years old and he's my baby. And he's half puggy and half border terrier. And I absolutely love him. He's a gorgeous boy. He's a gorgeous boy, ain't you? As you can tell, I love animals. Uh, I have reptiles, I have a bit of dragon, I have a leopard gecko, I have two cats, and uh, that's it so far. And my parents have a dog, and he's called Taffy, and he's a Jack Russell. But yeah, I love animals, I love spending time with them. With them. I'm known as a crazy cat lady. <laughs> Let's get into Lush, the Lush side of things. So I've been getting into Lush nearly two years now. Um, I've known Lush, about Lush for years. Um, I used to occasionally pop into the store and um, I used to get gifts given to me, normally over Christmas, um, like Lush products. But um, yeah, nearly two years ago now, um, I started to get more into it. I started to order online. Um, and I was just really enjoying the products. Uh, it was 2016, the, coming to the end of summer, I was really, really getting into it. I was really enjoying it. I was ordering all the time um, to try different products that I haven't tried before. My parents were like, are you okay? <laughs> like, why are you spending all your money on Lush products? And they said, as you're having so many baths and things like that maybe you should write a blog about it so I started up, started up my blog called Jazz Loves Lush and I really enjoy doing that because I love giving reviews and giving my honest opinion about Lush products and it gives me an excuse to buy more stuff and to try it and then um, I started getting into the world of YouTube and um, I really I'm really enjoying making videos. I love. I, at first, I was just posting demo videos of bath bombs and stuff, and then I thought mm, maybe I should just show my face. I was very, very anxious to do so, um, as I am self-conscious, as every other girl around the world. But I was self-conscious, um, and yeah, I'm really, really enjoying it. And I've met some really lovely people, lushies. I've met some really nice lushies. Uh, I, I've even been offered a job at Lush, <laughs> um, and yeah, I just love it. I'm, I love the products, and I, I, people take the mick out of me a lot. They say, "God, why are you spending all your money on bath bombs and you know wasting your money and your time?" And it's like, wow, time to get a little bit serious. <laughs> um, many people suffer with this but I I suffer with depression and I suffer with anxiety um, I take medication for my depression and I find having baths it's like escaping everything just for an hour just to be able to soak in the bath and enjoy it I l love watching bath bombs fizz away I love just making my body feel good and to help me relax you know it's it 
it's helpful and I find it helpful and normally when I explain that to somebody who's saying why are you buying so many Lush products blah 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 they kind of go like oh they're kind of taken aback because you know um, I'm sure a lot of people are the same they find things that they absolutely love that kind of lifts their spirits and makes them feel happy and um, people cope with depression in different ways I kind of like fixate on something um, that I enjoy so that's that's the reason why I like Lush so much. I just feel like, well, I enjoy it. I suffer with mental health issues and I just find that it helps me, so shut up. <laughs> this week, if you've been asleep or not paying attention or whatever, the Lush have released their Valentine's Day products, which I was very, very excited about. I think it was about Monday night. Um, I think it's Jen from All Things Lush UK. Just get her up on my Instagram. All Things Lush UK. I don't know if you can see that. That's her. That's her Instagram. Um, she posted um, that the Lush products have started to be uploaded onto the website. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, I want to see, I want to see. Um, so I went to the website and they have up started uploading them. I was like, oh, that looks amazing, that looks amazing. So um, I was like, when is this going to be online, like available to buy? Because it all said sold out, so obviously it wasn't available yet. And um, and then it was Tuesday, uh, Lush stores on the Instagram and stuff were posting products will be available in stores Friday. And I was thinking, well, when is it going to be online? Why aren't Lush telling us when it's going to be available? So I just kept checking the website a couple of times a day. I'm not obsessed, I promise. Um, and um, and then it was Thursday night. I came home from work. I finished at eight o'clock at night, and I came home, ate my pizza, and uh, <laughs> and um, it was online. It was available online. I started noticing uh, that people on my Instagram were making lush orders of the Valentine's Day stuff. So I went on. I was like, oh, it's exciting, I'm gonna finally buy some stuff. So I bought some stuff. I shall tell you what I have got. Um, so basically, I don't have a lot of money at the minute, so I've ordered one of each thing, apart from a couple of products that I'm not overly fussed about trying. But I bought one of each thing, and just to try it, do a review, and do an unboxing, and things like that for my channel and for my blog and um where am I going with this? I'm gonna get paid soon so when I get paid I'm gonna buy it bulk up on the products that I liked which I you know I wanna try it and then if there's certain things that I like I'm gonna buy a few of them when I get paid. Get your words up Jazz <laughs> it's not that difficult. So I have purchased Cupid Bath Bomb which I think is new to this year, I'm not overly sure. Um, and that one is $2.95 each, so I'm guessing it's only gonna be like a small bath bomb. Um, apparently it shares the same scent as Razzle Dazzle, the you know, the bath melts. And I also bought one of the two hearts beating as one bath melt, which is always a popular one. Uh, so that's £3.95. I have bought one Love Struck, which is a bubble bar, which is like an emoji face. Um, I'm excited to use that one. Um, and that one was $4.25. And then I bought a Love You, Love You Lot soap, uh, which is £4.25 for 100 grams. I'm really excited to try the soap because it is rose scented. I love rose scented stuff, so I'm very, very excited. Um, they have Ladybird, I bought one Ladybird bubble bar, which was $3.95, I bought a unicorn horn, of course, um, which is $4.25, um, I bought a rose bombshell bath bomb, that must have, I've cut it out, it must have been £4 something, and lover lamp bath bomb, £4 something. And uh, I, I bought an over and over, I've tried over and over before and I really liked it. I've got none left, so because I bought them originally when they were released in the kitchen. So I've bought uh, over and over bath bomb, and I have 
also purchased the Prince Charming shower cream in the 100 gram bottle to try it out, see if I like it. If I do, I'm gonna buy a bigger bottle so it will last me. So that is what I've ordered. There was one other item which I'm kind of disappointed about because I really want it and it keeps being out of stock. You probably know what I'm talking about. Um, I am talking about this one. Roller. I really, really want this bath bomb. So it's a kitchen exclusive product. Oh God, when was it? Last year it came out in the kitchen and I was, um, I got up, what was it? Because normally when you buy things from the kitchen, it's, it's, uh, the, 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 they go, the products go on sale about 8 a.m. in the morning in the UK time. And, um, and I got up at eight and it wasn't available to buy. I was like, okay. So I waited like five minutes. I went back onto the website and they were all gone. It was sold out. And I was like, oh, it's so frustrating. I do find the kitchen frustrating sometimes. Um, and I was really excited because they, because it on the list of all the Valentine's Day products, Roll is available. It's obviously an, it's an Oxford Street exclusive product and it shares the same scent as Yummy Mummy. And and the Peeping Santa blah blah blah. And I really, really want to try it. And it's frustrating me because I've been going onto a Lush site, refreshing, 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 to see if it can, becomes available. And it just kept saying sold out. And then the product disappeared completely while well, I pressed on to the icon of the roller and it took me onto a we can't find this page you're looking for and I'm like what okay so I gave up in the end and then I was on Instagram it must have been last night and someone uploaded a list of the Valentine's Day products they just bought like literally just bought and they bought roller like two rollers and I was like what they're, they're on sale and I'm like what 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 so I went um back onto the Lush website and I went on oh, and it sold out and it's like oh I really want this bath bomb I just need to get over myself it's just a bath bomb but I really want it so if anyone wants to send me one I'd love that <laughs> but also that's what I want to talk to you about I've been trying skincare products, Lush skincare products, and I have to say they are working very, very well. So I've been using 9 to 5 cleanser, I've been using um, tree, tree Tea Toner Water, you know, the spray stuff, and I've been using Full of Grace Serum Bar and uh, Cosmetic Lad moisturizer <laughs> and I've been using face mask so I've been using mask of Magna Minty and Rosy Cheeks face mask which I need to finish using because it's out it's like out of date on the 16th and today is the 14th mm, I found that it has improved my skin I'm still gonna give it a few weeks and see how if it improves it even more but my skin has cleared up really nicely uh, break I haven't had many breakouts my skin feels really nice and fresh and not so oily and grubby so uh, I'm gonna keep going see if it's just a fluke or it actually is working and I will definitely write a blog and review all those products to give my honest opinion to tell you if it's actually worked or if it was a fluke and I'm just having a good skin day so <laughs> make sure you keep an eye out I do love 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 my blog so make sure you go check it out it's totally busted 3000 dot wixsite.com forward slash jazz loves lush make sure you subscribe to this channel and give this video a like make sure you check out all my other videos as I love making them and I will probably see you during the week when I get my Valentine's Day products if I don't get them in the week then I will see you for this next vlog thing that I'm trying out and I hope you've enjoyed it so yeah, thank you for watching and I shall see you soon. Bye!